Lord, we just thank you that you have not forgotten the first nation that was in America. And I thank you, Lord, many of us have grandparents or great-grandparents or great-great-grandparents with Indian blood. And Lord, we thank you that that blood cries out in America. The voice of that Indian blood in America cries out. And I thank you, Lord, that you have seen how the people have absolutely suffered, God, and you've seen where they are today. But I thank you, come from the four winds, O oh, breath of God, and breathe on that first nation in America, God. Breathe and bring restoration, God. Yes, Lord, and forgive us, God. Forgive us around the world, God, for trying to make people look like us. I thank you, Lord Jesus. When you created the world, we can see how creative God is. We can see God as we see the different nations and the different dances and the different ways of people, God, how creative God is. And I just want to say that I'm sorry for meeting people and trying to make them conform to our image instead of the image of Jesus Christ. Lord, I ask that you look upon this first nation from Jerusalem, God. Release the breath of God. Bring restoration and resurrection fire. Oh, come from the four winds, oh, breath of God, and fall on the first nation, God. Fall on the first nation. I ask that you bless this conference. I ask that you bless the leaders that have gathered together. And the Spirit of the Lord says to you, God is not slow in answering his promises. Get ready, get ready, get ready, First Nations. The best is still to come. Look in front of you and see. Taste and see the Lord is good because the best is rapidly coming your way. And the word of the Lord and the winds of God will go forth out of Jerusalem, the city of the great king, all the way to you this day. Hallelujah. Welcome, Jerusalem. To the first peoples of North America, you have the authority. You have the role as gatekeepers. We thank you as European descendants for welcoming us to the land of North America, for keeping it for us and making it such a beautiful place. We repent for the way that we as European descendants have exploited you, have taken advantage of the gifts that you so readily shared. We welcome you back now to your God-given leadership role. Please teach us. We take the posture of learning from you. Please teach us the honor and respect that you show in your culture. Arise, 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 bride of Christ. Rise on wings like eagles, soar through the clouds. Arise, bride of Christ. He's healing you, restoring you, he's bringing you to himself, so rise. Hello, beloved ones. This is a Norwegian voice from Jerusalem, and I believe it's also something God gave me, so it's not only a Norwegian meaning. As Norwegians, we are sometimes called the Indians of Europe because we are, have a culture of sharing the things we have. We share them so much that we destroy ourselves, that we say our land is open for everyone, and we don't realize that sometimes things are stolen from us. This is happening now. And I want to say to you that you had things stolen from you, but God is saying, I'm almost crying here, God is saying that he created you with a special purpose on this planet Look at the world around you, we're in deep trouble, but he created you with a deep respect for nature, for the things around you. 
You didn't know me, so you went astray. But Jesus Christ is going to give that gift life the way it should be. So take, help me, teach the world around you to take care of the world that is so, such a big pro trouble. Be the ones you are and be proud of who you are. From Jerusalem. We thank the, thank the Lord and we thank the Lord that we are possible to bless from Jerusalem this is a nation uh, of Indians very precious for God nations we were in the Indian churches in 2011 year 2001 we were in america and we had met uh, indian believers in a very small uh, churches at the arkansas and we were so thanks for god because he brought a amazing uh, spirit of unity between us И когда мы вернулись сюда, and when we came back to Israel, мы делились этим благословением. We shared of this blessing with the people. Потому что все наши члены небольшой конгрегации, because all people in our little congregation, они израильтяне. They are Israelis. Их корни из России. They are roots from the former Soviet Union. Они все хорошо говорят и читают и понимают на иврите. And all of them uh, speaks uh, and uh, read uh, Hebrew. Потому что они работают, учатся, и мы живем среди. Because we are living in Israel, we are working and uh, living among the Israelis. И uh, мы благодарны Господу что Бог побуждает и uh, приезжает сюда некоторых uh, индейцев. And we thank God and we, because he is allowed for some Indian believers to come to Israel, to visit uh, Israel. И поэтому мы желаем им особенного uh, присутствия Божьего и Духа премудрости откровения. And therefore we uh, we wish for whole Indian believers uh, spirit of uh, wisdom and understanding and revelation. And revelation. Because God uh, loves the whole world. And also He loves and that uh, nation very much. And we wish a big revival for Indians and big blessing in their lives. And also I want to add, Indian nations so similar, that has so similar history with Jewish nation because they were scared and now God wants to, uh, to bring back to, uh, to close to him like uh, his uh, bringing back to the land of Israel, whole Israelis. Same God now starts to work among the Indian nations. And therefore, we wish a blessings from Israel, from Jerusalem, especially for all of them. Amen. Hi, I'm Pam. And uh, my grandmother, great-grandmother was Osage Indian. And I'm going to sing something for the Indian people. I will heal your land. I will heal your hearts. For I love you, my children. I love you with an everlasting love. I love you with an everlasting joy. I will heal you. I will heal your hurts. I will heal your pain. I will heal your fears. 
I am coming, I am coming for you. I am coming, I am coming for you. My special people, you are my special people. I have not forgotten, I have not forgotten. <coughs> I have not forgotten your prayers. I will heal your land, and I will heal your hearts. I have not forgotten you, my special ones. And the Spirit of the Lord says to you, First Nations, your lives, your ancestors, were a planting of the Lord. They were seed that went into the earth. And your nation rose up, and you understood about the land and the water and the heavens. And the Spirit of the Lord said, I've given you an authority. I've given you an authority to cry out to the earth. Earth, earth, hear the word of the Lord. You have that authority, my prophetic ones the First Nations, the Lord says, speak to the earth and speak to the heavens because the best is still to come. Hallelujah. The earth will respond when your hearts cry out. The heavens will respond when you cry out because the Spirit of the Lord said, you have the authority. Now it's time to let the healing fall on the First Nation and rise up as eagles. Rise up as eagles, says the Spirit of the Lord from the city of Jerusalem. Rise up as eagles and prophesy. Prophesy to the earth. Prophesy to the waters. Prophesy to the heavens for the best is sure to come. The best is on its way. In Jesus' name. Okay, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem to you, First Nations. It's time to mount up like an eagle. Like an eagle. An eagle's got a few feathers on them, doesn't it? Trying to mount up as an eagle. And just as God put Israel on the wings of an eagle and carried her out of Egypt, First Nations, God said, you ride the great eagle. Yeah, you ride the Most High. His name is Jesus Christ. Mount up as this eagle and ride into destiny, into freedom, says the Spirit of the Lord. And just as I carried Israel out of Egypt, I'm going to carry First Nations on the wings of an eagle into her destiny, says the Spirit of the Lord. That is the word of the Lord for you out of Jerusalem, the city of the great King. God bless you. We love you.